Hi, Russ here, and I just wanted to record one quick video to tag on to the end of this because it's all about improving our workflow. And what is a really good idea with something like this that you're going to use all the time is to add a keyboard shortcut to to the actual command itself, so or to the macro itself. So that way, all you've got to do is just press a couple of keys on the keyboard, and then it will automatically fire off the macro. And I'm going to just show you how to do this now. Okay, now. If I right click in the blank area of the toolbar, click on customize ribbon, and then that takes me to this, this, the familiar place now within Word options. And if you look down here at the bottom underneath the left pane, we see keyboard shortcuts, customize button, and click on that. And what we're looking for here is macros and scroll all the way down here. And you see just underneath the, the dotted line. And then what we need to do is to find our macro. And there, there it is there, save new file name okay and the other one if you remember was show doc information panel and all we need to do then is save changes in you, you need to select the temp template or the document now obviously we're going to save ours in normal dot dot m as i showed before or as explained before this is this will enable it to be used across all your new documents and then put your cursor in the press new shortcut key field and then just add your keyboard combination now i'm going to do alt one I had this assigned before, so I press Alt-1 and then I click on the Assign button and now you can see that it's been assigned in or assigned to this particular macro and that's all you need to do is click on Close, click on OK. Now, this isn't going to, uh, this I don't actually have a file name here, so if I come to DocDump, if I come to my archive and if I pick up on my book of proof from the other day, now, of course, all I need to do, if you look at the, the date and time, it's the 5th of March at 12.45. If I do Alt-1, there we go. It's now on the 8th of March, 13.51. And that's it. That's all you need to do. If, if you want to change it, then you just go back to the same place, customize the ribbon, customize the shortcut key, find, sorry, go to macros, find your file then all you need to do is remove and then if I wanted to make that alt 2 or even let me let me see alt d1 let's say I can even do that yeah you can normally do like two an alt key or a control key plus two two letters I think that's the maximum that'll allow but I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with alt 1 for mine I like that that works for me so I'm going to Alt-1, Assign, Save Changes in Normal dot dot, and there we go. And by the time I finish that, it's now 13.52, so Alt-1 again, and there we go, 13.52. And that's as easy as that. And like I said before, if you're going to do this manually, you do Alt, F, A, Y, 3, End Arrow, and then you'd have to add the A, and then you would two tabs to get to the save button and then save so that's actually 10 keystrokes okay as opposed to just alt one alt one alt one and that's the beauty of doing this okay thanks very much and uh, and there you go that's the the last in the video of this series um thanks very much for your interest thanks for watching if you've got any questions fire away and uh stay tuned for more word videos